deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. That is it. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, and fabulous? Actually, who are we not to be? You are you child, are child of God. Your playing smile doesn't serve the world. It's sure to down you. There is nothing enlightening about shrinking. We are all meant to shine as children do. I will not be ashamed of God. Hello, hello, and thanks for tuning in to God Squad Radio with Pastor O and co-host Thomas Barber. This evening we have a special guest, Dr. Dequisha Cheevers. Yes, yes, yes. Dr. Dequisha Cheevers is an author, and she has recently released a book, and uh, it is manifesting all of you. Am I correct? Yes, releasing manifesting man all of me. Uh, amen. amen. Manifesting all of me, and it is a pleasure to have you here with us. And uh, good evening once again. Thank you. It's glad to be here. Good, good, good. Um, and uh, you are from Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah, born and raised in Columbus, Ohio. Okay. I moved here about five years ago to Atlanta and um, to kind of further my career. So, um, thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you for being on. And uh, we know that Atlanta is doing a lot of things right now um, and a lot of uh, very talented and uh, char charismatic people are coming out of Atlanta right now. And you're one of them. So yes, it's our pleasure. Thank it's you. It's definitely our pleasure. Uh, <clears throat> we want to start out the show just first off uh, with, with just introducing everyone here this evening so once again i'm pastor o this is thomas barber the co-host and our special guest today is dr dequisha cheevers yes. remember that name <laughs> all right and so um we want to start out just asking a simple few a few simple questions uh, if you don't mind uh, <clears throat> normally when we start out the show uh we we start out a segment called what's the word and so the first question we want to ask you is, uh, what scripture would you say conveys the same message as your book? Uh, that's a good question. Um, I'm going to have to say Ephesians um, 3 and 20, where mm -hmm. it says, um, to, uh, now to him mm -hmm. um, who is able to do exceedingly and abundantly, um, whenever we ask, whatever we ask of or think of, uh, mm -hmm. according to his power, um, according to his power within us, right? So that scripture tells me that um, we have to be able to release our own power. Mm -hmm. And our own power, I mean by, um, you know, getting rid of the best, you know, going ahead and going ahead with the best in us and the worst in us to get to our next best. Um, whether it's releasing our fears, anxieties, our stress, our yesterday, our past, whatever it may be, um, we have to know that we have power within us to release that so that we can move on, so that we can get behind the hurt and the pain, that we can, you know, reach our dreams, our goals, our desires, so that we can go ahead and um, have more healthy days instead of our um, unhealthy days. Uh, yes. Make sure that we are going forward to do what we can to reach our goals, uh, whatever it may, it may be, so that we know it's within us. And all we have to do is then release our faith that we can do that. That's right. That's right. Uh, and one word, you, you definitely said power and uh, empowerment. Yeah. I know it's, you know, uh, a, a very big part of Ephesians uh, because we, it talks somewhat about uh slavery it talks somewhat about obedience but it talks about um leadership it talks about warfare and uh through all those things uh, sometimes you can be weakened and so uh, you need empowerment you need sometimes to just read or hear someone saying uh, you need to manifest that power in you and i i see that in in your authorship and, and the, the message that you convey. 
Yes, amen. Absolutely. The ability to manifest what we want to happen in our lives, we have to take it into our own um, responsibility because nothing will be handed to us. We have to work for it. We have to strive for it. We have to manifest it by you know, speaking it to ourselves and to our daily lives so that we can have a daily releasing spree. Yes, that's, that's awesome. awesome. That's awesome. So I have a question. Hey, son, why is releasing so important? Could you expound on that a little bit? Release. So yeah, so I'm glad you asked that. So releasing is so important because we have gotten into our um, our world this a whole um, um, nuance of keeping things within ourselves, right? Mm. So we're, okay. we're we're told to um, you know just keep going no matter what, right? Yeah. So kind of our our mindset in this world that we live in today is that just keep pressing. Well, you can't keep pressing if you are holding on to yesterday. You can't keep pressing right, if you're right. holding on to your uh, past relationships, your past failures, your past, um, hmm. you know, things that you experienced in your past from childhood or whatever it may be. Um, you have to remember that in order to go forward, you have to let go of. And hmm, so my book speaks about releasing out the best in you, but you also have to release out the worst in you because if you cannot move uh, and be stagnant, uh, you have to keep pressing, right? So, and how do you do that best? Uh, you have to do that best by, um, you know, reminding yourself that you, you have to remember to let go of things. So re let, let go of fear, re let go of your anxiety, um, mm -hmm. you have to re let go of um, past judgments, or um, you have to learn, learn how to forgive. Uh, nice. You have to learn how to accept. You have to learn how to uh, take advantage of a disadvantage. So there's a lot that goes on that we don't speak about. So my book is to help people release whatever it may be in their lives that they may need to do that. And as an urgent care physician, you know, I had to figure out for myself that, you know, during you know hard times, what I had to release. And so I wrote this book to help people, to remind people that you know we are not robots that we right. need to go forward in our lives and that we can't be stuck and so just because you've reached milestone let's have a look L little, little technical difficulties uh well we'll be right back with uh dr cheevers Sure, we'd love to hear the rest of, of what she has to say here. <clears throat> and once again, this is uh, God Squad Radio, Pastor O, Thomas Barber, and our special guest is Dr. Dequisha Cheevers. Actually, actually, in our second segment here, uh, or going into our second segment, but our first segment is, uh, what's the word? So as we're listening here, uh, Dr. Chivers is just explaining a question that was uh, posed to her from Thomas Barber, which is, uh, why is releasing important? Okay, here we go, back with Dr. Chivers. Please finish, Dr. Chivers. Yeah, I'm just saying that releasing is the utmost importance to get to your next best because um, we are so bogged down daily. And as an urgent care physician here in Atlanta, I hear from everyone in the community about what is stressing them out, what's frustrating them, what's keeping them back, what's keeping them down. And I want them to release all of that, to let go of it, because you need to do that in order to go ahead and go forward. You cannot move forward if you're stagnant in what happened yesterday or what happened 10 years ago. You have to be able to recognize what is keeping you trapped and what's keeping you locked down in your own life. We don't have to, um, Stay there. We can keep going forward. And I'm speaking to people who have no degree, to people who have a PhD or a doctorate degree of any kind, so that we all know that you don't have to stay where you are. You can excel or excel and succeed mm -hmm. and, and keep succeed. going, no matter mm -hmm. where you are in your life, in your career, in your health, um, whatever it may be, so that you know you can go ahead and release all of that to get to your next. Thank you. Thank you. Well said. And I, I really love that. And I, I hear in the spirit when you say that, just release, 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 like release the past, mm -hmm. um, you know, 
released by sharing or I guess, you know, therapy even. And uh, yeah. release, uh, you know, maybe creatively, you know. So I, I really like that. And I think that's a, a great formula for success, as you said. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Um, I love the idea that you said that it takes the things that are weaknesses and you take those and you use them for opportunities. You see what I'm saying? And it's awesome because everybody needs to hear this part when releasing it's not just letting go it's setting yourself free ah yeah get close to that mic gotta bring it back and i just wanted to add that in i wasn't gonna go too far i just wanted to drop it because that was <laughs> it's dropped say awesome. <laughs> so it, it was, it it's was been like, dropped it was like coffee to me i'm telling you it was awesome it was Thank awesome you. as this book is and as as a, it's really important that people be able to uh read these things and learn some of the things that you've learned that you're sharing in order to to heal you know from certain things and be able to move forward as you said um so next i, I want to go to uh the next part of the segment which is uh word on the street my question is what is a current event you think a part of your book addresses Oh man, it's a current event. It's a past event. It's going to mm. be a future event. It's the mm. pandemic. And yes, we are yes. at a crossroads right now, I feel like, where we're kind of confused about do we go forward full fledged? Do we release these masks? Do we, wow. yeah. Uh, yeah. how do we release the mask mm -hmm. and mandates and everything like that? Mm -hmm. And what do we do? Do we vaccinate, not vaccinate? What do we do? Right? So it's still a hot topic. So my book basically is going to help everybody to get through with this change. Because that, that's what it comes down to. It boils down to one particular word, and that's change. And the change is, um, are you ready? Right? So uh, we are all, you know, um, players on a stage, right? We are all a part of this, something bigger and greater than us. So we have to be able to release our faith, release um, our safety measures, um, we, whether that's to vaccinate or not vaccinate, uh, we have to be able to release whatever uh, is going to be important um, to go forward with this uh, endemic, pandemic, however you want to think of it now. It's going to be challenging to know uh, what's ahead of us because uh, we'll have to accept it. And so with acceptance comes um, confidence. And with confidence, you know, comes our peace. And, you know, peace of mind is priceless. And so we really need to be able to um, understand where we fit into this bigger puzzle. And so uh, absolutely the pandemic, my book, helping to go through change, transition, getting over things that have happened, whether it was loss of a family member due to COVID, a loss of a job due to yes. COVID, a setback yeah. in your education due to COVID, Whatever it hap whatever happened, we need to be able to realize that there is a next step for everybody in this um, in our situation that we can overcome. That this is not going to um, hinder us from moving mm -hmm. forward. Uh, it's just a roadblock. Uh, it's a yield right. sign, and we need to go ahead and, and go forward. Mm -hmm. Right, right. And my and right. book can help you do that. So that's. That's that. That's the whole message and the purpose of uh, of releasing is to go ahead and whatever your situation is, the pandemic or beyond that, um, or before that was going on in your life, uh, before the pandemic, right? Everyone says pandemic, pandemic, but mm -hmm. people were in crisis before the pandemic. So you know, mm -hmm. what are you going to do now? What can wow. you release now? To help yourself. That's awesome. That brings me to my next question. I'd like to ask you. It is what are some of the things that you had to release during the pandemic season? What are some things that you had to, to release during this season as well? You know, I didn't want to bring COVID home. You know, bringing COVID home would have been detrimental to my family. I have an 82-year-old 80, father. I have a 79-year-old mother. I have mm -hmm. a, um, at the time, I had an 8-year-old daughter. So bringing home COVID could have been detrimental. Uh, to me and my family. So I, you know, had to take precautions on top of precautions. Um, I had to make sure that my family was not going out 
without a mask uh, because they forgot one. I had to make sure that we all were protected, whether it was spiritually, mentally, physically, emotionally. Um, you know, we weren't going to in-service church. We had to do home church. We had to do homeschool. We had to do all of these things that keep ourselves safe. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, my parents were here on uh, a, a winter uh, vacation from Ohio. And, um, you know, I had to make a big decision to like, to say, okay, do you, do you want to go back home to Ohio? Or at the time, the numbers were a lot higher in Ohio for COVID cases. Or do you want to stay here where I know that I could bring it home? So it was a huge, huge um, decision that I had to deal with and to make. And so I ended up deciding to have my parents stay here uh, to be with me, knowing that I was going to do all that I could do. I'm wearing the N95. I'm wearing a mask. Wow. I'm wearing, a, uh, you know, basically a, a gown on top of my clothes uh, to protect myself which was way more than people would wear at Walmart. So I'm like, okay, you want to stay here? I got you. So let's do this. I understand that. I understand right. that I would definitely have to agree. It, it was very strenuous when it hit us. And what? When you, say, when you take yourself out of the equation, you start to prepare and help other people. You did what you did to help someone else. See, that's what we call selflessness out here. That's selflessness. That's something that needs to be. Amen. Mm -hmm. that, that's selflessness. I just wanted to say that that's selflessness. That's awesome. Yeah. And uh, as, as you mentioned, um, you know, when we talk about the pandemic, uh, there's just so many things that came with it. And, and I know all of those things were uh, things that not a lot of us saw, uh, you know, could, could even imagine some of those mm -hmm. things. So uh, <clears throat> with that happening and all the things that happened, this book, is right on time you know and so uh, in that you can also see that you know god hands moves in a lot of our creativity right in a lot of the products that we you know uh, push to everybody else the messages we push to everybody else you know uh, <clears throat> when it's lined up with god's wisdom it's it's very timely and so right now, with all of the things that people are going through, and as you said, uh, people were going through a lot of things also before that, um, but didn't really just feel the pressure. A lot of things, you know, going on with people and you, it just, they didn't have their finger on it. And so mm -hmm. when, when this pandemic hit, it really just intensified so many things that you couldn't hide certain things anymore. Certain things that yep. you weren't dealing with just pushing to the back of your mind right up front now. And so you're looking around, you know, with how do I deal with this? You know, uh, what am I going to do now? And so the first thing we have to do, and I'm sure you know this, is, is start within. And so with starting within, the first thing you're doing, you're looking for tools. You're looking for things that will help you do that. And so I'm glad that you came out with this book. I'm glad that you have the vision that you have and the knowledge that you're sharing with everybody else. And like uh, Thomas said, it's, it's selflessness. And so I see you here still in selflessness with this book, uh, reaching out to try to help people figure out, you know, what it's going to take to move forward. Yeah, thank you. And so we're going to uh, go on to our next segment. Our next segment is called The Spotlight. And so I just want to give you an opportunity to uh, take a moment to shine a spotlight on someone who influenced you in your life in a positive way or someone you just see around you who is influencing the community or others in a positive way and kind of just giving them their flowers right now. Oh, absolutely. You know, uh, the spotlight can't shine bright enough for the person that has directed my path to become a physician. And, you know, to this day, my mentor has continued to inspire me and motivate yes. me, uh, no matter how far apart we are in miles. You know, um, her love and her education that she filled, um, instilled in myself and my spirit and my soul to be the, a better person to be a better better daughter and better doctor. Um, you know, just in my whole entire life, like um, my mentor is 
a, a huge uh, inspiration to me. And so I, I would encourage anyone listening right now that if you don't have a mentor, you don't have a self coach, you don't have a pastor, you don't have a physician that you can talk to, go and find someone to talk to because that is going to uh, elevate your life and to keep you to move forward. Um, you can have all the books you want, but you really need a good mentor, a good yes. coach, someone yes. to talk to, someone to listen. Mm -hmm. And so if you don't have that, to go find that because that is what truly, truly matters when you are talking about going ahead and moving on from past and to release things that you never thought you would have to you know, share with someone else. So I would just say to everyone listening who is listening is to go ahead and to um, find that person in their life that can make a difference and to, um, you know, to, to reach out to somebody to uh, help. And when you get the opportunity, shine the spotlight on them. <laughs> yes. Right. Give them their flowers. Let them know how much they mean to you every time you get a chance. And I think definitely coming out of the pandemic uh, now too uh, should illuminate that even more. Like, you know, love them, let them know you love them and uh, take opportunities whenever you get them to, to let them know how much you appreciate them. So I thank you for doing that. See, it's very important that you give the flowers to those who are here while they're here. Mm -hmm. Because some of us didn't get that opportunity. True. Now, if you have a mother, father, sister, brother, cousin, anybody that is important to you right now that you can go to, you have a cell phone number, you have an email, you have a Facebook, a Twitter or Instagram to get in contact with them, just send a shout out. Just say, hey, good morning. Hello, how you're doing? The simplest statement can change someone's entire life. So that was awesome Amazing. what you were saying. It brings me to my next question that I wanted to ask you, actually. I remember you said something like a releasing spree. What does that yes. really mean? A uh, releasing spree. That is uh, a daily, I want it to be a daily phenomenon that oh. we do in our lives because you have to uh, let go. Um, one of the smallest things that you can do uh, mm -hmm. is to just uh, remind yourself that um, don't hold on to stuff. Let it go. Um, so whether it's a uh, being in traffic and having road rage or uh, wanting to, you know, expand your career and you have to release the fact that you have to go back to school. I mean, you have to be able to do that um, to make that connection. So every day is releasing spree. So we can go on and do better and be better and live better and love better um, every single day. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So great, great thing, a great thought, you know, uh, releasing spree um, and knowing that um, everyone needs that and just needing to take an opportunity, um, as you said, to release, 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 and then release. Mm -hmm. so, it's a uh, phenomena and a phenomena to make you phenomenal phenomena to make, make you phenomenal, phenomenal. That's sounds nice. like a doctor thing yeah very inspirational very yes. inspirational and so um we we know too that you know inspiration is is very important and so um i i'd like to just see what you think about um this book as an inspiration, you know, movies, music, those things that we put out to, to inspire. Uh, what inspired you to specifically write a book as opposed to other things uh, to use as a tool to inspire? You know, that goes back to when I was a kid. Um, I loved to read. Um, from the time I could even tell you, I've always had books in my room. <laughs> Um, whether it was fiction or even nonfiction, I loved reading at an early age, um, reading Hamlet probably before I was uh, told to in high school. I loved to, I loved to read. So writing a book for me was um, kind of what you would say was a no brainer. And so I wanted to make sure that things were, a were um, able to be communicated in print to people who love to read. And um, 
that would be an easy way for me to get my point across, my views, my views across um, to those who were willing to um, just open their mind and accept, uh, accept my concepts and um, flow with me. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's, that's interesting. Uh, and and, and uh, I probably would have guessed that because often, you know, you see children and they're dancing all day. You know, and at some point in time in their life, <laughs> given an opportunity, that's what they're going to do. Uh, you know, so uh, it's, it's good to see you doing, you know, what you were purposed to do. Of course, often we go to school for certain things or, you know, we, we work in certain uh, areas or industries to make it. But, you know, when you find your purpose and remember, you know, what you love so much, even as a kid, and you get the opportunity to do that, it's, it's, it's wonderful. But then even more than that, when you decide to use it to help other people, as someone said, to be selfless, it's amazing. And so uh, we want to congratulate you for yes. living in your purpose, yes. for using writing as a tool, and uh, also promoting you know, the education part of that and, and continuing to remind people that uh, there's greatness in you and uh, you just you just need to use it. <clears throat> See, that's awesome. Because when I think about it, that's what everyone needs to do. You need to take your purpose and don't be afraid of what you're capable of doing and let the light shine. I'm just, it, it just boggles my mind that there are people who are literally taking their gifts and literally in this pandemic, using their gifts to demonstrate what they can do, who they can encourage, maybe even to change someone's life. It, 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 it boggles my mind. I just had to, I just had to say that. Just, mm -hmm. I had to say that. It just, it makes you yeah. think like, hmm, like, wow. Oh yeah, yeah. We we should different definitely be doing that. So yes. um, with that said, I want to uh, just go to the uh, last question uh, for Dr. Cheevers. Uh, and the last question was again releasing spree. What exactly does it mean from the perspective of your audience looking at you? Not your perspective of looking at the audience, but your perspective of the audience looking at you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump in on that because that was a complicated question. That was complicated. That was a complicated question. <laughs> That's a couple of questions. You kind of got your Walter Conk right in. You know, I, 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 was, I, was, I was thinking so, about it like, hmm. I want to say, uh, Doc, Dr. DeQuisha, before we um, move forward, um, can you give us uh, maybe just a quick look at what you have in the future um, and where you want to go next with your book? Okay, maybe somebody called, so uh, we kind of get a little hesitation. Uh, so I'll, I'll address that question, I think, mm -hmm. what, what, what I thought when you asked that question. Um, the audience um, that you have now um, with writing this book and the releasing that you've done so far, uh, what's your next audience, you think? Yeah, my next audience are going to be the people who already took that step uh, to uh, release, and they're going to move on into higher, um, into a, a higher purpose because they have um, found it within themselves the power they needed to do that first step to, to figure out what they had to let let go, and um, they're ready for more. They are hungry. Yeah, I think that's going to be a great audience and you're going to see uh, a lot of people manifesting what's within them. And uh, you'll be you'll be known for being a part of uh, what helped the solution of what helped people uh, 
with what they were dealing with before the pandemic, but definitely what they're dealing with coming out of it. And uh, I'm glad to be a part of helping promote uh, that tool, promote that, posit that positivity and that motivation. So I really appreciate you being here today. Uh, and before we go, I want to ask, um, would you like to speak about your upcoming events in the near future? Yes, absolutely. And first, Pastor O, thank you for having me. It's been a thank great you. opportunity for me to be on your show and to network with you. And I hope we can continue our relationship further. Um, so thank as you. your, uh, your viewers are watching, I want them to know that I have uh, a few tour dates coming up for my book and uh, book signings going to be happening on March 20th. So stay tuned. I'm going to be in your city. Um, Dallas, Texas. Yes. yes. I'll be there. Irving, Texas. Come on now. In Irving, Texas, uh, 1710 West Airport Freeway. I will be there uh, at 4 p.m. on March 20th through my book signing in your city. And then I'll be also uh, in the summer at, um, in Ohio and in, in Florida doing uh, more book signing on my tour, of my uh, book releasing, manifesting all of me. And you can follow me at Dr. DeQuisha. D R D A Q U E S H A on Instagram and Facebook page. So please continue to support me. And you also can go to my website at releasing, R E L E A S I N G, releasing the number one, releasing one.com. And you can also purchase my book and see what I'm up to on my website. Very well, very well. I just want everybody to know, I want to be like Dr. DeQuisha. I want to be like Dr. DeQuisha. And uh, <laughs> I'm sure that we're going to continue uh, to promote and help each other, uh, help other people. And so I thank you very much for being here today, Dr. DeQuisha Cheevers. And, thank you for uh, me Yes, yes. And ma make sure you follow her on her social media. Make sure you get the book. And make sure you don't lose out on the blessings to come. Because I know that there are many blessings to come. And we know that she's a sharer. She is going to share these blessings with you, books. And we know it's going to be bigger. And it's going to reach farther. So we're going to continue to support you. We love your book. We love you. And we hope the best for you. And we know that the best is yet to come. So thank you once again for attending our show. Thank those for watching, for watching today. Uh, I am Pastor O from Extraordinary Faith Ministries, and this is Minister Thomas Barber, who is also with Extraordinary Faith Ministries. Also, I'd like to say congratulations because you have made history. This is Women's Month. This is Women's, Women's Month. Anybody ever said it again? <laughs> this is Woman's Month. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to tell you, you made history. I got to clap it out for you. I'm you clapping made too. history with your book. <laughs> it just dropped too. in this season. Look, y'all better keep your eye on her. She's on the move. Y'all better keep up with her because she's coming to your place near you. You did. Amen. Love Amen. You. Amen. This has been God Squad Radio, Pastor O, Thomas Barber, a special guest, Dr. Dequisha Cheevers. Keep your eye on her. God bless. God bless. Things we do this for the King of Kings. to make manifest the glory of God that is within us.